Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Thank you for coming in tonight. I am working on the back of my quilt for the Splendid Sampler Quilt Along. We sewed a little improv block last night from all the scraps, not all the scraps, but a few of the scraps. My husband put this block together, so that's, uh, that's what we got here. Uh, we sewed that together last night, and I'm going to sew it into the larger back of my quilt uh, tonight. Uh, hopefully we, uh, we get a big chunk of this done. I'm, I'm really wanting to get the back of my quilt done by Saturday or Sunday. By the end of the weekend, I'm hoping to have a huge back of my Splendid Sampler quilt. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I think we'll make some progress here tonight, uh, assuming that uh, technology works for us tonight. Oh, and you can see everything tonight. Okay, Sherry, that's a good start. I like to hear it. <laughs> so, all right, guys, again, we are gonna sew John's block into the back of the quilt. Uh, so I got my big back of the quilt here going. I can show you guys. Here we go. It's the whole big back so far. We've been making all these improv blocks and uh, putting them in. So this is my largest piece so far. What I want to do is put, this is the top. I want to put a row at the top here that includes um, John's block. And my goal with putting that row on the top is that my top is about this much taller because I need it about that much taller to sew this border on. So here's a... Uh, here, not a border, here is a, a column, just like, this is the one that can be on the side of this other big chunk. Uh, so I already have this whole long piece, but this piece, I want to connect it so it, this part lines up with a part on the larger piece, which leaves me about this much on the top of this. So the, the big piece I need about that much more on. So uh, a little bit more than this. So we'll have to add some fabric here and I'm gonna hopefully do the whole strip for that tonight. So if you're new here, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. And I'm the author of Sew and Stitch Embroidery and I'm here every night to just relax and craft with you guys. I'm here at 9.30 p.m. Central every night, and we have been working through the Splendid Sampler Quilt Along project. You can find out more info at The Splendid Sampler. And uh, we're actually done with the front of the quilt. Uh, it's starting up, the whole entire quilt along is starting up again May 25th, that's tomorrow. So I think it's starting up again tomorrow. Uh, we will check in with that again here and there. Uh, maybe do a block here and there for that. But right now we are finishing the back of my Splendid Sampler quilt and I'm doing that by using up all my tiny little scraps and stitching it into uh, putting larger pieces on those scraps and making making the back of the quilt. So the back has taken a while too. Not as long as the front. The front took me uh, a year and a couple months to finish <laughs> here, here in the evening with you guys. I have all the videos up on my YouTube channel at Penguin and Fish Movies if you want to check out the uh, um, the videos there now that we're starting up the whole thing all over again. That uh, might be good to check out. But tonight let's get uh, my husband's block into the quilt. So all right guys, I'm gonna flip you around uh, let me know if the audio and everything is working for you tonight. It sounds like it's working better for people. Uh, I did a, do a little research on that, so I'll talk about that in a sec. I'm going to flip you around so we can get going. Okay, here we are. So I did do some research and into why things weren't working very well the past few nights. And they said, I mean, it was pretty stupid. It was either my Wi-Fi connection your guys' Wi-Fi connection, and that's like all they could give me. So that was not helpful one way or the other. I did update my phone uh, just a few minutes ago, so maybe that helped. Uh, Antoinette, the uh, blocks will, as far as I know, be the same blocks. Uh, I think they will be done in a different order. Uh, the difference is, is that now it is, you're getting it from the book. Um, so, but I think they will still have bonus blocks here and there, and I'm guessing those will be a little bit different. All right, so this piece I already had um, figured out. Here is the top, look, that was that little, 
little jog of guys that we had to put on. So this is about the height. This is the top top area of my big section. I need to add about this much in height, no less for sure. I need to get it um, this height. So uh, this is going to be my guide for for working on the top of this tonight. So I want to do this guy first. I kind of like the length, and then this I want in here. So we have the problem that it's not tall enough again. So we need to we basically need to make to sew to sew this edge to this edge. I need to add to it, right? So I'm gonna try and find a piece of this. I do have a few scraps. Here's a long scrap. I'm gonna need to use that later. Um, I think I had a shorter scrap that was gonna work. Okay, yeah, this. So I was gonna sew this piece to here to make it tall enough. However, it is not long enough. So we got to go back even further and make this tall enough by adding, or long enough by adding a section here. And I think I'm going to do that with some scraps. So I do have a few scraps left over. I have a couple blocks here that we can play with later, I think. But um, here are the rest of my scraps. They're getting pretty low. Don't have too many left here. So let's try and pick some that we can stack stack up here and this guy's just hanging out here. Why don't we start there? We're gonna lose a quarter inch on each side so it will almost end up uh, right and we can actually I can actually shimmy it over like that and we can trim trim this side. So uh, John's block will look like it's going like near 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 but that's that's fine. I like that. So why don't we just why don't we do more? Let's do this guy too. He was popping out at me. He's a little big though. Kind of like this idea of a flying geese Block in there. We can do. We can just do another one of these. That actually might make it the right height. Oh, you know what? We will be kind of trimming it way down, though. Ultimately, we might actually only need this one block because if I'm adding the half of an inch, yeah, we might just need the one on here. I'm a little nervous about only, like I want to give it a little bit of an extra. You know what, I might just take some of this blue that we already have to even this out uh, just in case I need a, a hair more. So let's just sew this guy on here. I think we're only going to need the one. Man, I'm second, second guessing myself tonight. I think, yeah, you know what? I'll just sew a little bit of this on just in case I need it. The end. Let's do it. First, I'm going to trim it. It's a little, little uh, long. I don't need to deal with all that length. So let's take that off. And with right sides together, let's sew that. Sew that together, and we'll get started here tonight. We'll press that open, sew it to that second piece, and uh, we'll be off to a running start here. Fuzzles everywhere. Okay, I'm glad to hear it's working for you guys uh, tonight. Man, we're having a pile of tech problems with the past few days. It's annoying. Glad it's Glad it's happy here on Facebook tonight. All right, so I'm gonna sew these together. I it's not tall enough, but that's okay because I'm, I know I'm gonna trim a lot off the top of this block anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna match that up. Scratch those in place together. So I'm just get the whole piece of press. All right, now 
now we should have a piece that's plenty long for John's block. There we go. It's just perfect. So um, I'm going to, I, I have a little edge here and I'll trim that off. So let's line up these edges like that. And we will have the height we need to sew this onto our, our main piece, our piece that's going to determine the height of this. Look at all these little pieces we sewed together yesterday. So fun. Hey, Rosalie. Thanks for joining the night. Oh my gosh, you spent that day hand quilting, Judy. Oh, my project is going a lot faster. That's funny. Um, I feel like this project is going so fast to the, the back of the quilt here. Just because we've been working on the splendid sampler and man, that had some time involved. So, and, and the pieces were so small that when I'm working with these larger pieces, like this is a huge piece uh, in the splendid sampler land. Uh, so I, I feel like it's just moving along super quick, too. I'm thinking, man, this is how uh, people get whole quilts done in a day. They, they uh, use giant pieces of fabric. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, I really like John's block, too. I, I, I always love when he kind of steps in and, and uh, starts making stuff. Uh, with me and he likes rearranging little bits of fabric like this and, and designing so it's always kind of neat to see what he comes up with and and I would have never made anything so long and skinny but I, I just love it all these itty bitty skinny lines I, and then you know this tiny one here I think it's just really fun and look I even I even like that little extra piece we added there <laughs> I think it goes with it it's kind of fun all right let's uh we can add this to our first piece. Oop, let's trim it up first. Because this is the side we'll be sewing onto. And that's good enough. All right, so now this guy, we're gonna sew to here. So again, this is the height we're shooting for. So I will be kind of trimming this quite a bit, uh, but let's sew these together. We'll be on our way. Okay, now I'm just gonna come off the side here like that. All that will get trimmed up there. here. This all may be a hair crooked because we are cutting it by hand and everything, but you know what? I think we'll survive. Oh, I love when it starts getting ingrained into the piece. Like John's block looks so finished all of a sudden with, with edges, don't you think? I don't know. I think that's just super fun. All right, let's trim off this excess. So again, I'm doing this all by hand, uh, just because that's kind of the parameters I set for this guy, and, and we're sticking to it. So let's just kind of estimate it a little less over here. All right, I think we did pretty good with that. Oh, if I would have known how long the Splendid Sampler was going to take what I have done it. Not on my own, that's for sure. For sure, sure. I know, yeah, for a fact, no way. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not have uh, started or stuck with it. And you know what? Um, I, I did a block for it. Uh, you know, my block is block, well, I guess the blocks aren't in order anymore, but I did the uh, crocheted thoughts block. 
It's in the embroidery section of the book. And if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have got going with it either because it is, for me, this is a huge project. I, my body doesn't like taking on huge projects like this all the time. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. So it was a big decision for me. And um, I'm so happy I did it because I've learned so much from it. And I got to meet all you guys too. And that's neat. Oh, hey, Sandy. That's my cousin, Sandy. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, so, all right. There we are. First part done. So this, again, is going to go on the top of my quilt here. So here we can already kind of see what it's going to look like, which is cool. This is, remember when we had to make that extra piece of hair longer? That's what this strip is. So this will go here. Like so. But now we need to keep extending this for the whole rest of the length of this. So it's quite a bit yet. So what I want to do is I have, this might be a little difficult to do here, but we're going to give it a go. This is kind of a small piece. I, I had this larger piece like this that is just wide enough, I think. It, it's a little wonky in spots, but I think we can make it work. It's just wide enough. So I'm going to use this to kind of extend my piece quite a ways. You know what? I think I might just, I think I might just sew it right to here right away, and then it will be ready to kind of measure. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to do the blue piece all the way to the end because we'd still have like all this ways. I would like to put in, you know, I got some other blocks here. I thought we could put in at least, at least one of them. I think maybe just one. I'll save those other blocks for later. So I'm going to sew that extra piece. Oh, it does look like a flag, like a really fancy flag, doesn't it? Uh, John's block. Um, I'm going to just sew this to here and then we'll kind of lay it out and just cut it somewhere and wherever we cut it this is about the right height so I'm going to just sew it right to it and then we'll uh, put a little bit for the end and then we'll sew it onto the top of, of this piece so I think I think that's a good plan I think we got it so starting out with sewing this guy to here it's about the exact right height already so let's do that the blue blocky fabric was supposed to be filler, but to me it looks like a blanket with, oh, scrap fabric patching up the holes. So, um, oh, it does, doesn't it? So, it is kind of funny. So, with the, with the blue fabric, it does, especially, you know, like with this one, you know, this was our filler fabric, but once you put it down, on the background fabric, it kind of disappears, right? So now we just got this weird two little patches is what it looks like. Um, or it almost looks like a blue, a big blue piece of fabric that, we are, that we're repairing all the holes with, with patches, which I think is kind of fun. I kind of love, love that a little bit. I know it's a little wonky, but I think that's kind of silly and fun. So, all right, let's get these guys sewn together. One on this big long strip, one of the sides is straighter and the other is pretty wobbly. So I want to make sure that the straight side is what we're kind of matching, matching to here. All right, I think we're good here. This is where it starts to move around on me just because we're dealing with big pieces again, not our teeny, teeny little pieces. But I think we're good. Just need to line this up. All right, we're ready. All right. Let's snip that. And I probably won't trim this until I'm like trim this tiny little top until we're completely done. As long as my bottom uh, are completely do done with um, sewing this to the upper part here. I don't think I need to trim it in the meantime. All right, let's press it to this side. And 
There we go. So this piece is definitely longer than what we need it to be. Oh, but look, it's kind of, it looks like kind of like a, I don't know, it looks like a boat or a house. This is, it looks like some modern house with a little kind of weird chimney. All right, I'm gonna press this piece a little bit since, since I got it here. This is definitely way long of a piece. All this blue is from, uh, is scraps from the back of my jean quilt. So I'm like double using up scraps now, which makes me happy. Yeah, we're not gonna need all of this, but see how it gets, it gets smaller and wonky. All right, now here's the trick. I don't have a ton of space here to kind of lay this out. I suppose we could kind of wonder clip it, but I'm gonna try and do it without. So, all right, ooh, I'm collecting scraps underneath me here. Let's shimmy over here a bit. So this is gonna go up here. But you know what, I think I am gonna use a few wonder clips. So I have my uh, mini wonder clips here. So my problem is I don't have a big space here to lay it out, and I wanna make sure I know how much of this blue fabric is kind of left at the end. So I'm just gonna, I know this isn't, I know this goes up here, but I just need it for length's sake right now. I just kinda need to match it up for length. Have you shown the jean quilt? I think I have before, but you know what? Um, I will lay it out again so you guys can see, uh, like on Monday or something. I, I want to get back on it. I'm, I'm in the quilting phase of that. I'm hand quilting it. Uh, actually, I'm not even, it's not even like hand quilt, quilted with stitches. I'm, I'm tying it. So I'm, I'm tying it with some wool yarn that I'm hoping to uh, kind of put in the wash so it felts up into little balls and stuff. So I'm, I'm at the quilting stage, so I'm, I'm almost there. I just need time to sit down and work on it some more. All right, so here's the end of my piece. This is what I wanted to get to, uh, where I can just trim this. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm probably going to trim it quite a bit more because I want to put a piece in there, but I just, I can't have all this bulk. Well, like, look at all this is left. I don't, I, I'm, I can't have that around me here. All right, let's close this up. But yeah, the jean quilt takes up the entire floor of the living room too. So I'm hoping to get the back of this done on Saturday or Sunday if I, I don't know, if it works out. Um, and then I'll have my floor back and then I can work on the jean quilt again. All right, so here we are, just so you guys can see, it's about this long. Here's the start of it, start of it over here. So I have all this blank space here to the end. I wanted to kind of interject this guy in here. I think kind of maybe, maybe right there. I think that looks good. So that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of my wonder clips. I don't need those anymore. I'll just shimmy over here for now. So this is where I want this guy to kind of be interjected. So what I'm gonna do, scooch the top off again. I am gonna just straight up cut through my fabric here. Hopefully straight. There. Um, so then we'll sew this guy to this side and this guy to this side, and then we'll have excess to trim, which I'm okay with. All right, let's get this guy in here. Um, I don't know if I'll do a mini marathon on Saturday. It's gonna be kind of tricky because, um, I mean, and that's kind of why I've been working on this a little uh, off-site, or not off-site, but like a little bit um, off-camera, just because I, I need to move from the living room and back and on the floor and back, and it's, it's, um, it hasn't worked so much to film back and forth like that. I mean, here I get to stay here, uh, which is nice, but I'm going to be on the floor over there a bunch, but maybe I'll pop in on Saturday and I'll do like a, a short little video Facebook live just to kind of show you my progress on it. I can do that. And then maybe I'll, I'll show the jean quilt right away too. I'm going to sew this on right away. 
Oh, Gina, it's frozen for you. I hope it's uh, hope it's still working for everyone else yet. Yeah, there was not much online for why things would freeze on Facebook. It's basically either my Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi is, is all they said. They did mention something about if you have an ad blocker on, that that might be messing things up, but I find it hard to believe. I, I don't know if that's the case. Oh, it, it paused for a second now, it's fine. Oh, weird. Okay, and yours is still working. Oh, yep, I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh, here. I might not be plugged in. Let's see if that helps. There. Plugged in the computer. I think it fell out, but I'm not sure that would have affected Wi-Fi. Okay, here we are. Let's press this guy. I think uh, it was pressed outward. Seems like the path of least resistance. There, so we got we got this fun little lock hiding in here now too. And again, I'm gonna wait to trim that till we're done with uh, sewing this to the top. But we're we're like ready to do that already. I'm stoked! Yay! Let's do this. So okay, now that guy is gonna go on top of this top piece here. So here we go, this is the bottom. We need to flip it so right sides are together. And I'm gonna start sewing from, oops, spare a little piece there. I'm gonna start sewing from this side because this is the side I, I know for sure I wanna line up um, correctly. It's gonna, we're gonna have extra at the end of the other side, but I'm gonna just trim that off, that's, that's fine. All right, we're gonna sew this whole big piece on. And I'm not using pins or anything, I'm just gonna make sure to match, match edges as I go. And that will work just fine. We've been watching for on the iPad for a while. Oh, and yesterday was the first time you had issues. Oh, interesting. I don't think it's my firewall or anything like that. I don't think it is either. I don't, I think it's gotta be, I don't know, Facebook in the end, or, or I don't know, or it's, I'm doing something wrong on my side, but my Wi-Fi seems good to go tonight. It's all the way up and no one's um, doing anything else with Wi-Fi here tonight. And I've also um, updated my phone system again, so hopefully, hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully things just want to be updated all the time. I think, let's just, I hope that's the case. I'll make sure I am up to date always on on that stuff. Yeah, and that's that's it too, Debbie. They keep doing updates on Facebook and they keep, I don't know, just putzing around doing their thing there too. So who knows? It's it's live broadcasting. It, I don't think it's all you know figured out quite perfectly yet. I, that makes me happy. It, it, I just love that uh, on the back here we'll have this little bit of his his thing that he designed on this project. I think that's sweet. Oh, you're fine tonight and last night didn't work. Oh, good. So you're good to go. Maybe it was just I needed to update uh, my my phone system again. I don't know. It's a racket. All of it. Just going slow and steady. If I would have pinned this all beforehand, uh, I could have just zipped through this real quick, but I didn't pin, so I have to adjust every few inches. So, I don't know. You lose time on one end or the other. But since we're kind of free-forming this whole thing, I'm, you know, not using any pins. Probably wouldn't have used those wonder clips earlier either if I was uh, 
on the big surface. Here's our one of our blocks with uh, people's names in it. So that's kind of fun. All right, we're coming up to the second block that we sewed into the strip. And we're getting close to the end of this guy. Ooh, we are gonna get to be able to sew the column on tonight yet. I am stoked. That is like a lot of progress on this thing. I'll have one big piece uh, by the end of the evening. Here, this was cut kind of odd, so I'm gonna try and fix it here. And a couple more inches here. We'll have to press this and trim it, and then I trim this side off. Sure, we wouldn't need to, but we're gonna. And uh, then we'll get that that left column stitched on too that I have done already. my scraps so hopefully they don't fall off the table. Alright, so this is a bigger piece that we'll have to iron in a few sections. Okay. First half. I'm just setting the seam a little bit now. Shimmy it down the row. Here's the second half. Okay. Now let's fold it up. There. Now his block is totally encased in fabric, which is pretty cool. Just floating, floating up there. It's like a barge. That's what it looks like. A barge floating up in the blue. All right. Let's try and do the second, second bit here. That's a barge and here's the little iceberg. It's approaching here. Uh, that's what's happening. Okay, buzz in there. All right, we have a top on here. So before we get too much further, let me trim this edge. So we have this much extra because we added it in this chunk, right, and moved it down. But um, that was a whole lot easier than when we had the whole long dangling piece on it. I don't mind just wasting this because we'll, we'll use that later. Okay, and again, I, I'm going to trim this whole top later because I'm not sewing on that quite yet, but here we are. It's all, it's all part of the quilt now, which is cool. Let's, uh, let me see if I can lay it out a little bit here and lift you guys up. So there we go. It's, there's our little piece up there. Um, got some scraps going in there. Here's this extra little guy up there. So now I want to put, I want to put the column on here yet tonight. And uh, let's, that's the next step. Oh, I've never used up my scraps like this before, Sherry. It's been so fun. Just thinking about doing the same for your next quilt. Oh, that's the thing. I mean, uh, once I started, I was kind of committed, <laughs> committed to it. Uh, but yeah, it is a lot sewing all these little extra stri scraps together, but it is fun. I mean, if I wouldn't have spent so much time on the Splendid Sampler, I probably wouldn't have done it, but now I'm like, hey, what's, what's a little bit more time?
So, all right, here's the column. I already have a column done to put on the side, and now the height should be the same or close enough because remember, I needed, I needed this much extra height to get this to work. And why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to match up. I have this little line here. I wanted to kind of match up this so it's continuous. And I think, oh, there. See, so our height is super good. I, I actually have a little bit extra, a little bit um, more than I thought I was going to have. Originally, I wanted to put it here, but then I don't have enough. So we'll, we'll put it right here. And then I'll just trim off the top, just like a hair, like an eighth of an inch off the top of this whole thing when we're done. So I do want to match up this point. So I might actually use a wonder clip there. Oh, and I'm, I'm pressed in opposite directions. So I'm going to just fudge that a little so we get a nice corner. So let's kind of get those two points together there. I'm going to just throw a wonder clip on that. And then we will sew, sew these guys together. Oops, stray puzzle. All right, let's see how this goes. Now, normally I, I, I put my large piece on top. Normally I wouldn't put, I would put the small piece on top, uh, but I want, these are the, this is the size I want to match up more so than the bottom side. The bottom side I'm going to trim. Okay, so here's the point I wanted to match up. Let's even up everything until then. Oh man, I might use more wonder clips. I'm, I'm regressing away from my spontaneity, but I do want to make that point match up. So this will just help me know where to start. All right kind of like that. So I'll have a little bit extra on the top, but that's that's what I'm going for here. Honestly, this probably would be a whole lot easier if I wonder clip the whole edge, but oh well. Not this time. Just up to this point, then then nothing else has to match up after that. All right, let's this is fussing all over the place though. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out here and try and make sure my point is matched up again. Just gonna hold it there. And if it's not perfect, that's fine. Why do you use a piece of fabric before you sew anything? Oh, uh, that is my, oh gosh, I always wanna say starter and enders, but it, it actually has a name. What, what were we calling this again? Um, oh gosh, I don't know. I've just been calling it the starter and the ender. Someone here will think of the real word that we've been using, but what it does is, um, it makes it run smoothly from, uh, I can, if I start stitching from here and then start stitching, then I only have this tiny leaders. That's it, Bonnie. That's, that's the word I'm trying to think of. It's a leader. And, um, I only have this little piece. Thanks, Gina. This little piece of thread here. So I don't have long things of thread hanging everywhere every single time. It also, mimics the heights of my pieces of fabric. So it makes an easier leap height wise from, um, for my, my press of foot and everything to go, but that's a theory at least. But I do, what I do really like about it is that I don't have strings hanging everywhere. I just have this itty bitty piece that I can just snip off. And I don't have to also snip off, uh, tons of strings. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I never used to do that. Um, but since the splendid sampler, uh, I've started to do a whole lot of quilty things that I haven't haven't done before, um, just because they're working. So 
so that that helps not have strings everywhere and it also um i don't know kept things kept things in line better and and my machine if i'm if i don't oh you call them spiders because of all the little threads um but if i don't hold down the threads like with my hand my machine will suck it back into itself which sucks and makes a crazy nest um of thread um so this this keeps that from happening too so i just keep them nearby it's just little scraps of fabric i'm hanging out around and when i need them i um i i use them all right Working our way down. I mean, we really will have a, a chunk after this. Oops, I don't want to push that little seam in there. Oh yeah, so it conserves, conserves thread too, that's, that's true. Conserves good thread. Oh, yours will come unthreaded if you don't change the... Oh, that's interesting. It does put a bunch of twists in the thread before you start to... So I'm, I'm sure that's helpful for holding things together. We're getting there. So I probably won't lay this out live tonight just because um, I'm tethered to the machine and everything, <clears throat> tethered to the computer. But I'll take a photo right after and post it uh, to Facebook so you guys can see it tonight yet. Ooh, am I rolling? Oh, something weird's happening here. There we go. Wow, it's really fuzzy back here. So uh, this weekend, I'll be putting the really big pieces um, onto this because I'm going to run out of a lot of these smaller ones. Uh, so the big dark blue borders, uh, it's similar to this dark blue. I'm going to actually run out of this fabric. So um, I got to break out the dark blue from the bolt. And that will flesh out the rest of the size that I need for the back of this quilt. So that's why, that's why I'll probably get done this weekend, uh, just because I'll be filling in things quick with with all that fabric the bulky fabric um but i will i do want to pop in a, a square here and there within that bulk so i will have to still do that cutting um kind of like that insert cutting what we've been what we did with john's block to you know we had a or with that last block how we cut the fabric to make room for it we're gonna have to do that if i want to put little teeny blocks here and there within the big big blue stripes so we'll see how that goes I'm not quite sure I'm figuring it out as, as we go so that's 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 what I'll continue to do I suppose almost to the end here this is the this is the last piece of fabric here and then I'll have a little extra because again I I cut it long just in case I'll have a little blue scrap here. Then we'll press it and see what we got. All right, and I'm gonna just veer off the side here. All right, I'm excited. That was a big chunk to get done here. All right, let's press this. This might take a little while to press this guy, um, but we'll see how it goes. 
now you're going to be uh, seeing it with here a little bit. Okay. Let's um, do it this way so we can flip the short piece up. I'm going to just press <coughs> all along it and then I'll open it up again. It's kind of how we did the last one. This one I flipped the seam over. That's where we wanted to match our piece. This is longer. This side is longer than the top we did earlier. Here's another block that I inserted. I, I had this long piece and I just cut it, um, cut it twice the height of this and then um, added that piece that I cut out to the side and then trimmed it just like how, like how we did John's block at the top here. Okay, I'm gonna open that, but I think I'm gonna start from this side because I think it'll just physically be a little easier for me. All right, we're gonna start seeing what it's gonna look like. Okay, here's where I wanted to match it. Oh, there, see, that's fun. Now it looks um, kind of like one, one long line there. Come on, guy. Yeah, it didn't quite match up perfect, but it's pretty good. Here, let me lift you guys up a hair more. There, see, so now we got that stripe kind of going. That's fun. All right. You're gonna put on there. Next section. Ooh, these big pieces are hard to press. Oh man, I just kind of mashed all this down here. Second portion of pressing. We'll just shimmy it down to the end here. All right, and I think we're going to just let it be at that. Uh, maybe I will try and get this over to the living room, I don't know. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try here. So I'm gonna flip you guys around for a sec. Hey there, so I think, uh, I think I'm gonna try and show you this guys on the floor. So here it is, just standing up here. This is the part that we did to, oh wait, no, is that? Oh yeah, so this is the, the top of that column. Here's where the row starts that we did John's row today. John's block. So it started here. That's why, that's why I needed it taller because I needed it to be as tall as this. <laughs> I like, I like that little extra bobber up there. And then it goes to there. So we have this whole piece done. I'm going to go over to the living room, I think, and see if I can lay this out. So let me tether here for a sec. All right. I think I can do it. I'm going to flip you guys around. Alrighty, grabbing the machine. Here we go, my food from tonight. Okay, I am going to set the computer right here. Okay, there's the jean quilt again. Let me tilt you guys down. All right, I'm going to attempt to do this quick here. Let's see. Oh, that's the... Here we go. So it's coming together! So I have these pieces. They'll go up here somewhere yet.
Okay. So that's where we're at right now. There's um John's block is right there. And uh it's coming together. It's getting bigger. We got a big square going on here. <laughs> So next up, I'll, I'm, I think I'm going to figure out uh, what to do with, with this side here. And then, you know, we got bottom, like a lot of these pieces I want to put on the bottom here. So that's, that's next up, but we'll, I'm going to start putting these dark blue pieces here and here. I'll start uh, putting those around it too. But yeah, fun little pieces popping in and out of there. Here's, here's uh, the area we did tonight. I'm stoked. It's just so silly and fun. So, all right, guys, I'm going to flip you around and we'll, we'll call it. <laughs> there. <laughs> so thanks again, guys. Uh, it was really fun to, to lay this out down here and, and uh, put it together. I, that was a lot to get done tonight. Uh, that whole top and that whole side. Uh, it's fun when you can really just put huge pieces together at once. I'm, I'm digging it. So awesome. All right. I, uh, we'll work on this again tomorrow. We might just, um, work on a few more blocks. I still do have scraps left, so we could finish up those scraps with a few more improv blocks that I can add into here. And then, sa then Saturday or Sunday, uh, assuming I have time to work on this, I will try and pop in uh, to Facebook Live here and show you my progress with that as well. And I'll take a photo of this. Ooh, I might take a photo of it tomorrow because the, the light will be a little bit better. But that's the plan. So awesome. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys, and help me, helping me out with this. Uh, I will get it up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies uh, tonight yet. And it'll be ready uh, to watch tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, thanks again. I'm having fun working on this. Uh, so awesome, guys. I will catch you tomorrow. Have a great Friday, uh, weekend eve. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow night, Friday night. Good night, guys.